fact about myself, I don't wash my hair every day. But that doesn't mean I don't shower every day, so let's just push all of those smelly Ingrid thoughts to the side. Now, as a lot of you guys know, I have oily everything, and that includes my scalp. I get really greasy hair really quickly, but I am still able to go three days without washing my hair. And I'm gonna show you what I do with my hair on each day to make it last and not feel gross and just bleh. I really just wanted to get to a point where I could go a few days without washing my hair and it's honestly way nicer because I feel like it's way less maintenance when you don't have to be washing your hair every day, heat styling it every day. You can just kind of figure out different styles that work for you. These are the ones that work for me and hopefully they help you out. So. Let's get into it. So I like washing my hair the night before, letting it air dry so that my hair looks like this in the morning. And then I start off with my heat protectant. This one is from Tresemme. And I just spray it onto my hair and I also put a little bit on my hands. So this way I can reach areas that the spray doesn't normally hit. Now on day one, I normally wear my hair in messy waves. So to create these waves, I'm going to be using my Numi Titan 3. This wand is awesome because it comes with three barrel sizes so you can do super loose curls or tighter curls. And it also has a protective glove. So I'm gonna be using the middle barrel today, which is the medium size, and I am just gonna wrap my hair around the wand, going away from my face like I normally do, and I'm leaving a decent amount of the ends out because I don't want the curls to look too structured. So I'm just gonna keep doing my thing with the curling wand, and you guys know I freaking love a good Numi wand, and I've used a ton over the years, but these titanium ones are definitely my favorite because the titanium makes your hair so shiny. So if you're interested, in this wand, I have a couple nifty coupon codes for you. The first one is Let Your Glam Show, and you can get the Titan 3 for $80 when you use this code, and it's originally $250, which is a pretty amazing deal if you ask me. And then the second code is Nug Wants a Hug because, well, he does. And if you use this code, you'll get 60% off the entire Numi site and free shipping. So the links and the codes will be down below in the description box if you want to check them out. Once everything is curled, I just just like to finger comb through everything and then I come in with a little bit of my Dove hairspray and this is a really light hairspray so it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy or anything and then after that I got to do my little hair tuck because when in doubt tuck it out sometimes I just wish a cheese emoji existed from all my cheesy jokes all right moving on to the next look the next day your hair is probably gonna feel a little bit greasy but your waves are still gonna be intact so I just take a little bit of dry shampoo and spray it on my roots and at the nape of my neck so I can still take advantage of my second day waves and then I come up to the front section of my hair I start braiding it in just a regular braid but when I get down to the bottom I leave a little bit of space about an inch or so and you want to grab the middle section hold on to it and then take the two side sections and push up and this is gonna create a really cool kind of squiggly braid. It's called a snake braid. And then I just pin it in place. So it's a different way to braid your hair that's super easy and really, really fast. And you can make this braid smaller or bigger. You can add more braids. It's really totally up to you. Now on the third day, your hair is definitely gonna feel pretty freaking gross, I'm not gonna lie. The solution, pull it all up, get it out of your face, and forget about it. That's my motto. So I'm just taking a brush to help get my hair up since it's a little bit shorter and pieces like to escape, and I'm pulling it up into a really high ponytail. So basically as high as I can get it, and I'm securing it with a hair tie. Make sure everything is nice and tight, and then I found that I had this little sneaky chunk trying to stick out. So I'm gonna show this guy who's boss by twisting the piece up and then pinning it right underneath the ponytail. Now creating a voluminous updo can be tricky when you have short hair, so it's time to bring in a hair donut. I'm just going to pull my ponytail through the donut and then I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray and spray the ends so then I can come in with my brush and just tease away. And the more teasing, the more volume you're going to get. And if you have shorter hair like mine, I would definitely recommend using a smaller hair donut because it's going to make your life way easier. So once you're finished teasing, 
amazing then you are basically left looking kind of weird and you just want to take the ends of your hair and kind of wrap them around the donut so the donut provides a nice shape for your hair to wrap around and when you pin it in place add a little bit of hairspray you're gonna be left with a super cute messy bun and I don't like mine to look too perfect I kind of like little hairs hanging out and that's gonna be it for today that's the last look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you missed any of my last videos they will be linked right here so you can click on one of the boxes and they will take you to that video and I'm just gonna wait here this is the part where it just always gets a little bit strange and you never know what's gonna come out of my mouth so um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the VMAs. I had an amazing time on the red carpet. Not gonna lie, I almost beat my pants because I was really nervous. But, um, yeah. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next vid. Bye!